Bad girl, bad girl. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when she screws on you? Bad girl, bad girl. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when she fucks on you? Nobody now taking no break. Police girl ain't taking no break. She going to give you head on your break. A teaching your eyes said she don't want to eh, eh, eh. Bad girl, bad girl. Yes, sir. Y'all know what it is. Should be told allegedly in the booth in the building, the booth in the building, in the booth in the building. Unfortunately, I'm at work right now, so uh, the audio might be a little bit off, man. But I hope y'all can uh, work with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that like, sub, share, and subscribe, man. Tennessee, 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 Tennessee. Tennessee, Tennessee. Tennessee. It's a scandal going Tennessee, on, man. Let's Tennessee. check in. Let's see what's going Tennessee, on. Tennessee. All right, man. Tennessee. So a scandal has rocked a small Tennessee police station and set racial tension in the department to an all new high, man. Hey, we have learned that the Laverne, Tennessee, right down the street from, I think, Nashville. Yeah, yeah, right outside of Nashville. Yeah, 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 right outside of Nashville. Uh, the police department is claiming that a married blind female officer allegedly had steamy rumps with six male officers to whom are african-american according to the report the steamy shenanigans in which hall allegedly bragged about the size of the partner's genitalia and claimed to be in an open marriage not only led hall to be fired but led the firings of sergeant lewis powell officer juan lego sergeant ty mcgoin and detective seneca shields according to the uh investigation Two other officers who allege had uh, run-ins with Hall, Patrick Magolioshi and Larry Holliday, kept their jobs but wound up suspended, according to the local news report. Man, according to the news report, uh, Megan Hall, as you see in the picture, uh, allegedly engaged in wild intimate acts that included sending dirty pictures, taking her top off, girls gone wild st uh, style at a hot tub party and even allegedly having oral sex with two officers at the police station man she was gobbling and swallowing the whole nine and a half on that black ass group anyway man yeah man she was going nuts in that joint i'm talking about literally man they said she was having sex with them on the uh break uh while they were uh, well, at the uh department while they were on duty man let me know what y'all think about this in the comments man they said they was running trains on the lady and the, it's some old things man should she be fired man i don't know man she just wanted to get a freak on man and uh evidently man some other uh some other counterparts man black men and uh and a, and a mexican uh hispanic guy he wanted to get his freak on too man let me know in the comments what y'all think man let me see if i can find this video let's go according to an internal investigation obtained by fox 17 the allegations include unreported sexual relationships sex acts performed while on duty and inside city on property nude photos sent among co-workers sexual harassment and what's referred to as a girls gone wild hot tub party at a sergeant's house. The department fired patrol officer Megan Hall, patrol officer Juan Lugo Perez, Sergeant Henry Ty McGowan, Sergeant Lewis Powell, and Detective Seneca Shields. The department suspended patrol canine officer Larry Holliday, patrol officer Patrick Magliocco, and patrol officer Gavin Sherbro. The investigation alleges Officer Megan Hall, who was sworn in August of 2021, had sexual relationships with six of the men. The report also shows Hall and other male officers engaged in sexual acts while on duty. Those took place in the police gym and inside the police station. Other allegations in the report include workplace violence, where Sergeant McGowan put his hands around the neck of an HR worker. On Monday, Fox 17 learned the department has 60 sworn officers on staff. That's down 12% since the findings of the sex investigation. We followed up asking how many officers they would need to be at full staff and if this will impact their overall police response. We're waiting to hear back. In response to the investigation, Laverne Chief Burrell Davis shared a statement explaining it's a difficult situation. They're addressing this internally and they have enough staff to cover patrol shifts. Laverne Police declined an interview with Fox 7.